We've got tropical low turning into a bit of a cyclone. Then they split, so you're in for a treat. some morning markets. Hi, welcome back to another video. We're starting this one at a little roadside stop just out of Innisfail, far north Queensland. It's on the side of a main road, but hopefully the road noise dies down soon. Bryce is in the kitchen cooking me up a dinner tonight. What do you got? Uh, we got hamburgers tonight. Homemade recipe from uh, my old man, Mick Canole Burgers. Mick Canole Burgers. Um, that's because Bryce's last name's Canole, yep. if anyone didn't know that. Yum, yum, yum. Super keen for them. Ah, what a rainy, yucky morning. Uh, we're just heading off to Mission Beach this morning. We actually had 50 mils of rain last night. Yeah, 55 mils of rain, but it was nice. It wasn't heavy, it was just a uh, little little drizzle yeah, and not. it cooled everything down so that was good and then the night before we had 15 mils of rain again so it's a pretty um wet gross, time of year rainy week yeah <laughs> we checked into the mission beach caravan park this morning um it's a bit wet at the moment they've had close to 110 mil of rain in the last 24 hours so we just come for a bit of a drive around we come down to the south mission beach to have a bit of a look see and uh Check Got our rain jackets on. Yeah, it's a bit <laughs> cold and uh, woolly at the moment. We say cold, but it's like 27 degrees still. <laughs> <laughs> you might have seen in our last video when we're at Branston Beach that they've got stinger nets um, along the coastline. Apparently people are still getting stung in them, so we're a little bit cautious of whether to go for a swim or not. And um, somebody did tell us as well that they've had crocs in them and sharks in that before. So it makes you a bit uneasy <laughs> swimming at them unless they've got lifeguards as well. But it could also just be the time of year. I know some of the stingers, they follow the warmer water. So while the warm water's here, that's really why they're cruising through. Come the uh, winter dry, time. Yeah, dry, dry season might be a bit different story. So we're here at Mission Beach at the moment. Um, we're on the foreshore caravan park one. Um, we actually haven't set up too much. This is our site at the moment because in the last two days we've had close to 200 mil of rain and we're destined for another 80 mil this afternoon at this stage. So yeah, it's getting a bit wet here at the moment. The weather's just come down a little bit for the first time in the last two days here. So we're gonna go head out onto the beach finally um, and we've made some mango smoothies. We are just getting ready to go for a walk. What's it called again? Don't know. All right, we'll try again. We're actually going for a walk through Clump Mountain National Park. A bit squelchy under your feet. Everything's a bit sloppy and washed out. So you gotta watch where you step or else you might step in the puddle. Not a snake. So what do you reckon? Summit left or right? Um, this way. This way? Right. Yeah, I reckon. After you. Well, that's longer, but might be harder. Bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Race you to the top. <laughs> yes, we made it, finally. Made it to the top. It's a bit of a uh, nice walk, actually. It's not too hard. It's a nice gradual incline. Chelsea's puffing some big ones. But <laughs> no, I've got bitten by like mosquitoes or midges or something. Yeah. So put bug spray on. Put bug spray on, but uh, it's a nice, yeah, gradual walk up. It's very slippery uh, this time of year. It's very wet, but yeah, definitely nice, worth it. Pretty nice view after you get to the top. 
Oh no, what have you done? Do you want me to do it? What do I do? Just, oh. just pull it out. Oh, oh. that's not going to work. It's going to make it worse. I wonder if I can pull it through. It's like you've got a hairy chest. <gasps> oh, you can just pull it through. Oh, thank God. That was all right. Good morning, and guess what? It's not raining today. Yay, getting some washing done, finally. Well overdue. So the plan is for today is after lunch, we're gonna head to South Mission Beach and do the Kennedy walking track. Some of our friends told us that it's really good. It's a must do here in Mission Beach. So we're going to check that one out. Um, and probably go for our beach walk that we've been waiting to do for the last three days while we've been sitting here. It's our yeah, third day in Mission Beach and we're only pretty much just getting out and um, sitting outside the van now because it's just been torrential rain. How many meals do you reckon we've had in the last few the days? last couple of days we might have had close to 300 mil of rain. Yeah, it's been pretty bad here. <laughs> This walking track's really cool. It's like where the rainforest meets the ocean and you've got all the fresh rainwater going down. It goes out to the ocean. Just come down from in the rainforest and walking along the beach now. Just next to the caravan park, there is some morning markets. So we're just heading for a walk. I think there's gonna be some fresh produce um, and they actually look pretty decent. We haven't had decent no, markets in a while. We haven't had markets in a long time. The markets ended up being pretty good. We got some bananas, which are huge. We got all of these ones for $2. And we got some honey, which is made in Cardwell just down the road. And some avocados. So today is the first sunny day we've had at Mission Beach. Uh, we've had about 300 mil over the last couple of days. And it's amazing how much this place changes when the sun comes out and the blue sky's out, there's no cloud. It's actually fantastic. There's a heap of people around. I had markets this see morning. See the islands finally. You can see Dunk Island over there. Uh, it's actually fantastic. And we're off tomorrow as well. We're gonna head to Mariapa Falls. So it's in the National Park near Cardwell there. Uh, there's meant to be a swimming area. You can go for a swim in some waterfalls and it should be quite yeah, good. It's meant to be only about six dollars a person per night i think their national park fees are um so hopefully it's nice and there's not many um too many march flies around because this time of year anywhere that there's fresh water there seems to be march flies <laughs> we just found this husked coconut on the beach here and i was like ah oh, screw it we'll open it up if you ever want to open a husk coconut on the beach you just launch it into the <laughs> air as high as you can when it hits the ground it'll just go snap and uh good to go Plink. Eat up besides the little bit of sand and stuff in it, but hey, mm. that's a little bit of texture. So apparently the trick to opening these up is you crack the top of them and then you should be able to just rip yeah, them man. off, but it's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll see how we go. These are a couple we prepared earlier. Last bit's the hardest bit. And there you have it. She's out. Coconut. It's a bit of a workout too. <laughs> So 
So we've had a slight change of plan. Uh, we were going to go to Murray Upper Falls, but unfortunately that is all flooded at the moment. All the roads in, so they've uh, closed the campground and stuff. So we're actually cruising through Cardwell. I'm going to head to a free camp towards Townsville a bit further. It's another 120 k's down the road or so. Uh, it's meant to be beachfront, free, and should be pretty nice. Cruising into Bowgle Beach now. We just had to book online. It's totally free, but I think because of COVID, they just want to get like your phone numbers and email addresses, all that fun stuff. But it looks so nice down here. So this morning, just doing a quick tire rotation of a couple of tires. I noticed that they're all starting to wear on the shoulder a bit funny, so I'm gonna swap them over, see how they go for a little bit and see if they get any better. Um, having this makes it a hell of a lot easier though. It's a Milwaukee impact wrench. Uh, it's three quarter, it's probably a bit overkill, but from, from my last job, I got it to do up some fire mains and stuff and it's come in super handy when changing tires. And we have some new wheel spats on the way. If you follow us on Instagram, we were asking um, if anyone knew where we can get this size because we were totally stumped, couldn't find them anywhere. And Roadstar actually messaged us and said that they had one last set left. So we got our hands on that and they should be in the post soon. Mmm, damn, that looks good. And the chicken. What are you cooking? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing Mexican bowls. Mexican. Just a bit of chicken, capsicum, onion, cook it up, chuck a heap of Mexican spices in. Delish. And chuck it in like a tortilla wrap in a bowl, heap of salad on top, easy yeah. done. Yum. This cooker pumps out some serious heat. I reckon it should be cooked in like five minutes. <laughs> So Chelsea always overfills her wrap and then they split, so you're in for a treat. <laughs> and I get really angry too, even though it's always my fault. Oh damn. I've done it again. <laughs> I told you so. Oh, how do they make this look so easy at Zamburros? Far out. She's gonna break it. Oh no. Oh, here. Oh. Get your back up. Wow. Oh. And then just roll. Uh. And then I got two wraps. Yeah, but just roll it into it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. That's how it's done. We're in a beautiful little seaside town called Cardwell for the next few nights. We're actually staying with some of Bryce's family friends here, so we just parked our van out the front. Uh, we're exploring the surrounding areas today, so this isn't very far from Cardwell, but we're in the State Forest um, National Park. So there's a few swimming holes out here. So we're heading to Dead Horse Creek, Addy Creek, and the Cardwell Sparkle. I think they have been shut the last few days because of all the rain in the area. So we're hoping they're all open and safe to swim today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, do whatever. And it's flowing pretty fast. Bryce has just gone down the river a little bit. He said he's going for a swim, but he's just floating because the current is so strong. Another five minutes uh, back up the road from Cardwell Spa Pools is Dead Horse Creek. 
Uh, so there's three swim spots all up, Dead Horse Creek and Addy Bay, or Addy Creek or something, but we'll go there after. But it's actually pretty cool. Go on the GoPro. We need to start memorizing the names before we start filming. It's quite a regular occurrence. We go, ah, uh, what's it called again? I just like winging it. This is the third stop for today. This is Addy Creek. Uh, it's really nice, although there's a few mozzies about. We think there's meant to be an upper pool, so we're gonna head back up the track and try and find it. Might be a bit nicer swimming up there because it is very mozzy-ish down here. And this is from the top. Some little rock pools up here. Just keep in mind also that these pool, these creeks only run after rain. So if you're in the dry season and come here, don't expect to see it as good as this, I don't reckon. For the last year, we've been trying to find these as the ones that we've had have just been cracked and breaking since we got the van. And we finally got some, thanks to Roadstar down in Victoria. Um, sent us a message on Fate, on Instagram after Chelsea put it out there and managed to get a, a hands-on four of these. Yeah, apparently they're the last ones um, that they had as well. So, we just gotta be super careful with them because we might not be able to get any more. We ended up spending four nights in Cardwell with some of Bryce's family friends. There were heaps to do around the area, more than we were expecting. Um, there were some heaps nice swimming holes as well, which you would have seen um, before this in the video. And tonight's free camp, we are actually at Babinda Bolt, not Babinda Boulders, but Babinda, we're in <laughs> Babinda, Babinda. <laughs> uh, at the Rotary Park here. Uh, so they've got a uh, nice little free camp. They've got showers, which are $2 for four minutes and some toilets and stuff. It's quite a big area, so there's plenty of space. And then tomorrow we are headed into Cairns and we've got something exciting planned uh, in the city there. So we'll, we'll keep you posted when we, when we get into that. We never showed you how the wheel spats turned out the other day. They turned out really good. Bryce just chucked a couple of screws in underneath and a little bit of silicone, wasn't it? Yeah, a little bit of silicone on them as well. Just makes, come up really good. Yeah, it makes the whole side of the van look so much better from them cracked yellow ones. Manky ones. Manky ones, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bryce has been keeping himself busy with some coconuts. Yeah, been messing around and making a bit of a bowl. Pretty exciting. <laughs> That's it so far. It's Got really to good. Whale it and uh, then it'll be good Little to go. Nut yeah. It's a bit of a miserable rainy morning again um, and the toilet is quite far away from where we're staying so Bryce has decided to tow the van there. We're just about to head off anyway. Um, so I'm just going for a little ride in the van seeing how much moves around and shakes and bangs and clangs um, while we're driving. Oh this feels so weird in here. We got to Cairns this morning and it's some wet and windy conditions here. We haven't had weather like this for a while. We've got tropical low turning into a bit of a cyclone. So we are battening down the hatches and uh, preparing for a fair bit of wind, but it's exciting. I, I, I love this stuff. I don't, I'm stressing out. I keep getting Bryce to watch the weather in case it turns real bad. But... Yeah. No, I reckon we're, we're in for a treat, but we're gonna be all good. 
With the awning, uh, we tend to set it up with our anti-flap kit. So we've got the anti-flap kit ends and we put it in these curved roof, curved roof rafters that uh, tighten everything up. We put up our shades just for a bit of uh, wind and water resistant. Um, but also when the wind comes in, it acts as a bit of like a, an anchor. The wind blows in and holds everything down and keeps it nice and tight. A couple of ropes on each corner here and there and uh, that's pretty much it but it's going to take a lot of wind to get rid of this bad boy if it does look like it's going to get really bad we'll just uh, put it down tuck it away and uh, take refuge in the van chelsea's over here looking for a jumper because she's a bit warm it's like the first time she's worn one in like a long time she's having a bit warm no a bit a cold. cold yeah she's cold she's mind you we've got the air conditioner on but uh yeah we like to keep the aircon on sometimes especially up here because like it's raining and it's cool but like it's still quite humid and i know the van starts to feel a bit damp if you if you don't have it on sometimes yeah, it just takes some moisture out of the air and make sure no mold or mildew can start yeah. building up at all yeah like chelsea's in her worry phase at the moment she's just stressing herself out <laughs> she thinks and thinks and thinks and it makes it worse and what um, about the cyclone? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, well there's a cyclone. It's not a bad, well I don't think it's going to be a bad one. No, it's not bad at the moment, but you never know. Thanks for watching another video guys. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you next time.